Hi, I'm John Reeks. I play bass clarinet in the Louisiana Philharmonic. And today we're talking about the two low clarinet etudes for the Allstate auditions. Of course, it's easy to say, oh, I have to play the fast one and the slow one. But that kind of is not exactly true because the so-called fast etude actually has some relaxed portions and the slow etude has some excited portions. So I think it's better if we think the technical etude, which is what I just got through playing, and the phrasing or the musical etude. So in this technical etude, first off, um, if, you, if you'd already played your audition, you would have played, basically you would have played this piece, and that is, it's an E-flat scale. <laughs> It's based on an E-flat scale for the bass clarinet, and it's, it just goes through the E-flat scale, mostly in thirds, and it has variations on that, but that's about it. So if you can play your E-flat scale, you're halfway home on this piece. Now, the, really, the only things that um, I think about when I play this piece is that, um, first off, even though this isn't the, the phrasing piece or the musical piece, I want it to sound musical. It's not just a bunch of notes. And so I want to try to make it a little bit more interesting sounding. And I do that basically by following the, the dynamics that are written, which also sort of follow the melodic line. When the notes go higher, I get louder. When the notes go lower, I get softer. And for the most part, that works pretty well. So, for example, just in the very, very beginning of the piece, <laughs> again so I could start my, my journey up the mountain again. The other thing that, um, that I'm careful about in this piece is that I could, uh, because I'm playing all eighth notes pretty much in this piece, it could get out of control. Of course, I'm practicing this with my metronome to keep it steady, but I might get excited about what I'm doing. And then it's like a train wreck. So I'm always going to try to get off to a good start. Kind of like eating breakfast every morning. Eating a healthy breakfast gets my whole day going. Well, I'm going to hang on to the first note of each group just a teeny bit. Not so it's, it messes up the rhythm, but just so that I make sure that all my ducks will follow in a row after that first note. So... <laughs> keep that up because I feel like I'm rolling downhill and it's just getting out of control. So basically those are the things that I'm concerned about with this technical exercise. Practice it with a metronome, changing the speeds, um, and uh, it says allegro con brio. Again, it doesn't necessarily mean fast. It means that it's lively, that it's exciting, that it's uh, energetic, all those kinds of, uh, the, I think of those kind of adjectives. Um, and that's what helps me make this piece come to life. So good luck on this one when you play it for your audition.